It's been since 2020 when Santa Clara University Broncos and the Board of Fellows celebrated our community at Golden Circle last. I'm so proud of our alma mater for holding this event this year outside. Many of you have asked us how we decide which events and meetings to attend since we've been lucky and we've also planned not to get COVID so far. I always look forward to Golden Circle every year and this year it's journey. I grew up listening to Journey. I, I can't wait. I love it. Uh, Carrie Grasser, Mary Johnson, and their events team at SCU always do such a phenomenal job with every tiny, thoughtful detail. We're truly grateful for this upcoming outdoor fun. We're also ditching the ball gowns in Texas this year, and we're trading them in for cowboy hats. While we look forward to the fun, we also have to have some realism. And this week, national hospital rates are surging 30% over last week because of COVID. We've also learned that a large proportion of people who get COVID have blood clotting related health problems and complications like pulmonary embolism, strokes, heart attacks, and more long after anyone is really measuring these effects. While no situation is risk-free, not even outside, Given its airborne nature, being outside, especially eating outside, is so much safer than dining indoors. Think of it like managing your exposure to secondhand smoke. Think about how you know the air is flowing in the room. Is you know is that air stale? Is it fresh? Uh, so we will be bringing masks with us always, whether something is outside or inside. As we know, famous concerts uh, and, and other outdoor tent events have been super spreader events. Our view though is to treat your air that you consume like the water you consume. You wouldn't drink unfiltered water. So if there's a crowd, even if it's outside and you're going to be breathing in someone else's air, it's really smart to filter that air. The only way to know if that filter works is through validated engineering testing and standards metrics that are provided by an organization called ASTM. For every day, we use KN95s. These have a CE mark. It's very important to understand the source of your masks to know whether or not they're counterfeit. If they're counterfeit, they probably do not work. When we're flying, we use NIOSH rated N95 masks. The last time we flew wearing NIOSH rated N95 masks, we tested negative and we were grateful for that five days afterward. We're also going to be testing five days after Golden Circle. We're learning, we're figuring it out. We went to an awards ceremony recently indoors uh, and we were the only people that ate our meal outside and only a tiny number of people wearing masks inside a fairly large event of hundreds of people. It turned out there was spread there. But again, we were fortunate to have tested negative afterwards. And I'm human. Yeah, so did I feel awkward that we were the only ones eating outside or, or that we were amongst just a tiny number of people wearing a mask? Of course I did. But, but I'd rather overcome my awkwardness and enjoy really the meaningful event that we did get to than not to enjoy it at all. And it gave me really confidence because everyone there, even though most of them weren't wearing masks, were professional, polite, and collegial even. And it made me feel much better because my preference is really to avoid breathing in stale air or someone else's air that's not filtered by wearing a mask. So we don't subscribe to the idea that infection is inevitable. We think you can still live and by gosh, have fun, but let's do it intelligently. Don't, don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs>